Here on the spotlight today we have a 5 amp DeWalt battery. Belongs to my good friend David. It's showing 16 volts. What did I show you? 16 volts. Just over 16 volts on the uh, multimeter. That's about low. It needs to be about 17 to take a charge or slightly over it. So I'm going to get into it and see what's going on. So out of the case and you can see there's quite a lot of corrosion and those cells might be game over. But what we're going to do is we're going to try the much championed jump start method to get her going again. But before we dive in with that we're going to check the voltage on these cells. That's registering nearly nothing. That's good. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> Last but not least, the end cells. Let me see if we get a good connection there. Yep, that's good as well. So it's these two cells in the end that are the problem. Cell replacement might be the option. But before we try that, we'll try the, we'll just give it a wee boost. Right, so here goes, and we're going to monitor the voltage as this happens to see if it works. And we'll know when we disconnect if it has in fact worked. That might be long enough now, so we'll just disconnect to see what happens. It's over 17, so we can tighten the charger now back into the box with that. We'll try it on the charger quickly before it changes its mind. Right, so here goes. Yeah. That's going to work, but we'll give it about a time to charge and see what happens. Right, so here we have a fully charged battery now, so I'm going to yeah, just take it off the charge and test it to see how it's done. It's over 19 volts. That's not bad, however. 20 would be optimal. And... Because of what we've just done, I feel the heat there in them front cells. I would leave that sitting overnight to see if those cells are good or bad. To see if they can actually maintain that voltage or the drop. Sometimes they drop the voltage and that's them done. Sometimes they're okay. So we'll know in the morning how it turned out. It's actually official. That battery has failed. These two cells have not held up to the jump start they were knackered what it can do is take a couple hopefully out of this here if we can get a couple of good cells pulled out of this and put them onto this i can maybe get this fixed yet these two are showing a good voltage so i'll just pop these out hopefully they'll do the job for us you're doing a cross connection so it's very dangerous to do this I don't advise anybody doing this. This is only for your entertainment at home. See? This is not something anybody ever should be doing. There is risks involved in battery repair. And whether they're worth the risk is questionable at best. That's a good sale. It mightn't look a good sale, but it is, and that's also a good sale. So we're going to put these into the original battery here, and hopefully we'll have a good job. Yeah, it's just those two at the front. The rest of them seem to be okay there. That's good. This might work out yet.
These cells are slightly less dangerous than the viable ones. But you don't want to be messing about with cells generally. As a rule, stay away from battery repair and messing about with cells. This is just for your entertainment. Only. These stickers are to insulate the, the positive actually to insulate, insulate the negative side that's on the same side as the positive some of you may understand what I mean some of you may not but it's the stop cross connection what I'm doing there Right, here's something you should definitely not do solder directly onto cells that's a no no that's dangerous this is see what I, see, <laughs> I was crossing the connections just keep my solder away from that but do not solder on, directly onto cells it is a dangerous practice you could explode a cell doing this and nobody ever anywhere should be doing this i've seen people doing it i do it myself sometimes like now but it's not an advisable practice. Here we are now. Won't won any beauty contests. And there's no guarantees how long uh, second hand cells will ever hold up. But it's showing three bars. I think we've got a good job. We'll just put it together. check the voltage down 20.4 volts that's absolutely perfect so that battery is totally fixed now and you see sometimes why the jump start doesn't work well that was slightly more complicated than i thought and you can decide for yourself if it was worthwhile so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other content plenty of battery videos and more videos every week